Welcome to this MuseScore tutorial. MuseScore is a free open source software for music notation similar to Finale or Sibelius. This tutorial should cover most of the features that you would need to notate your homework assignments. As an added bonus, the program also has a playback feature playing a quick and dirty MIDI output of the notation you have just entered. This is useful for two things. First, you will be able to identify by ear notational mistakes that you might have missed reviewing your notation. Second, if like me, you don't happen to be a pianist and tend to play a bit haltingly, you can hear what your compositions sound like up to tempo. Let's get started. When you open the program, you will automatically open with a recently worked on score. Simply click the New button or push Ctrl N to open the Startup Wizard. The first screen allows you to input information for the heading of the score. In this case, I will be setting a chorale called Aus Minus Herzes Grunde by J.S. Bach. When you are satisfied with this information, click Next. The second screen allows you to select the instruments you want in your score. All instruments are organized by families. You can always change the ensemble later, but for now, we'll just add the piano. Now we select the key signature. In this case, we are in the key of G major with one sharp. The following screen allows you to set your time signature, which in this case is 3-4, select the length for a pickup measure, which for our example will have only a single beat, and choose the number of measures for your example. Our tutorial score has only four measures. Then you hit finish. Now we are on the editor screen. On the top, you have note values, accidentals, and other features, including rests. On the left, you have many, many special options. In this tutorial, we will only be adding fermatas from the ornaments and articulations menu and slurs from the lines menu. But let's start by adding notes. Select the large N button to enter the note input mode. Then select the duration you want. The first note of our piece is a quarter note, which is already selected. The note is G. Simply drag your cursor down to the G and click to enter the note. The second note is also a G, but this time it's a half note. The following note is a quarter note D. The next note is a dotted quarter note on B. To add a dot, select the dot button and place it just like you would any other note. Now I'm going to add the rest of the notes in a similar fashion. Now we want to add the alto line. These colored squares change the layer that we are adding music to. By default, layer 1, blue, is selected. Now we want layer 2. In addition to the point and click method, you can also enter notes by hop key. To enter a note, you simply type the letter name of the note you want. For the first note in the alto, we want D. This was followed by another D. And then we touch E. Notice that the E that it selects is the E that is closest to the preceding D note. If we wanted to change the octave, hold Control and push up or down. Also notice that the send direction of the soprano has automatically switched up when you entered an alto line below. In general, layer 1 always has stems pointing up so you'll want to use it for soprano and tenor lines, and layer 2 always has stems pointing down, so you'll want to use it for alto and bass lines. Let's keep adding notes to the alto part. Note values are changed using the number pad. For instance, number 4 automatically selects eighth notes, number 5 selects quarter notes, and number 6 selects half notes. With the right note selected, again, you just push the letter name of the note you want to enter, and it will automatically be added. Now let's finish up the alto line. That's the basics of note entry. I'll do the bass clef in the same way. With all of the notes entered, we can now listen to the chorale by hitting play. Now let's add some slurs and fermatas for finishing touches. We'll start with the fermatas. Select the ornaments and articulations palette and then select the note that you want to add a fermata to. Then simply double click on the fermata to add it to the score. Let's do the same in the bass line. Now we want to add two slurs. 
open the lines palette, select the note you want to add slurs to, and then double click on the line. We can do the same here. You can change the size and shape of a slur by clicking and dragging on these nodes. Now the score is ready to print. I hope you found this tutorial useful.